Hello, you wonderful people, and welcome back to the Crested Gaming Lounge. In today's video, we are once again going to do some Harry Potter. This time, though, with some spooky, spooky things in the background. It is Spooktober, after all. Spooky, scary, and scary. This is going to be part five. And, you know, in honor of the Spooktober thing, we're going to fight the troll. Yeah, 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 I don't know how well that's going to go, but we're going to do it, okay? We're going to do it. In we go. See, we need some music. We need some um, fighting music for this. There you go. Ron was very adamant that we uh, that we helped Hermione right away. So we're going to do that. In we go. It's gonna be interesting to see how they have rendered this troll, considering the graphic is. Harry, questionable. What's that smell? Oh no. What are you doing to my swamp? Oh look, it's Shrek's slightly retarded cousin. Oh shit! I have to run? Who oh, will though? I hate these. Ah! Uh, that fucking Indiana Jones boulder thing again. I don't like this. No. Harry, what have you got yourself into? I thought we would just Wingardium Leviosa the shit out of him like they did it in the movies, but no. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Why is there holes in the floor? Why is there massive holes in the floor? I don't get it. <laughs> Why is this troll so goddamn fast? Oh god. That was a close one. Oh, the checkpoint. Thank god. Help me. Hmm. Job. So you led him into the bathroom she was in. Brilliant. Ow, I'm trying to run. It's not as easy as it looks, you know. Give me your troll. Give me your troll. Give me your best shot, motherfucker. Give me your best shot. Do it. Oh god, well, I'm running out of health. Why is this a boss? I hate the aiming still in this game. It's shit. Come on. Trying to throw shit at me, eh? close are you, Ron? You suck. You're so slow. Holy shit. How can you suck so badly, Ron? I'm just saying, okay? You're not very good at this. I know you're slightly worse than the rest of us, but please, try at least. to putting that club on his head. There you go, Jesus. <laughs> that was so bad. He sucked so hard. Is he dead? I think he's just been knocked out. Come on, I think so too. Let's get out of here. <laughs> that was terrible. Exhausted from their encounter with the troll, Harry, Ron, and Hermione 
returned to the Gryffindor common room and discussed the strange goings on at Hogwarts. Harry suspected that someone had released the troll to distract everyone so that uh, they could get think, into the forbidden eh? corridor. You think so? But there wasn't much time to think about who was behind this, especially since Harry was busy preparing for the second Quidditch match against Ravenclaw. <sighs> another, another Quidditch game, really? Okay, no! there we go. Oh God! Two thousand years later, I am the mighty Harry. Yes, I got it. Jesus Christ, that took way too long. Way too long. Oh my god. My name's Lee Jordan, signing off. Thanks to Harry's skill as a seeker, Gryffindor won the bitch match against Ravenclaw. That was just unnecessarily horrible. Harry, Ron, and Hermione spent most of their free time in Hagrid's hut, trying to convince him that he couldn't keep Norbert his beloved dragon. Yeah, of course Eventually, he can't. After much coaxing, Hagrid agreed. Well, he can't keep it. It's not supposed to be him. Harry unwrapped the unexpected Christmas present. Something fluid and silvery slithered out. Ah. It's an invisible mm -hmm. cloak. So you're exactly, invisibility rare, cloak. Rare. There was a note with the cloak. Your father left this in my possession, Harry read. Use it well. Use it well. Merry, Merry Christmas to you. Harry tried on the cloak. While Ron and Hermione helped to prepare for the climb up the tower. Be oh yes, we have to get uh, Norbert out of here. Stay invisible while you cast spells, Filch might see you. Exactly. Don't cast any spells while wearing this thing. With Norbert safely bundled up, Harry set off for the tallest tower. He hoped that the cloak would conceal him from Filch and his cat, Mrs. Norris. Mm. Mrs. Norris will still notice you, man. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> ah, bitch! You know what? We might actually have to lower the audio a bit. I realize it's a bit loud. Yep. What's going on? Who's that? Someone's got past me. Could you cast the spell? <laughs> you too. Jesus Christ, man. My God. <laughs> that man is disturbing. Oh, 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 he has a sneaker. He has a sneaker tunnel. You have to be careful, guys. He's going to get us. He's got them secret tunnels. <laughs> well, where is he? Pray I don't find you, my stealthy little student. <gasps> well. You could try to find me, Filch, but you're not going to. You're an idiot. So you're not going to find me. <laughs> oh, you too. Well, you can, uh, you can try and find me all you want. Harry, falling off the edge and shouting when you're trying to sneak is probably not the best choice you can make, okay? I'm just saying. It's just not good, man. It's not good. Now, here we go. Checkpoint. And I missed it. Of course I did. Just the aiming in this game is equal to poo.
Uh, how about no? How about you just stay right where you're at, man? It's no problem, dude. It's no problem. Really? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. You need a better hobby. Okay? You need a better hobby than chasing after students at dark. Screw you, Filch. Goodbye. Now, how can I get up there? I've already found a way up, you ding dong. Just let me do it. Oh no! Oh no no! Oh no no! Oh god! <laughs> you stay right there, Filch. Stay right there. Don't you dare touch me! Don't touch me, my nono spot. I will kill you. Oh, there we go. Yes, normal, Harry. Normal. Just do that. Oh man. Are you sure, Filch? You sure you'll catch me? I have a feeling you won't. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait for him to get there, stand there for a while, being cocky and everything. You know, the standard stuff, the standard stuff. Filch, you suck. Oh my god, again with the freaking flippendo. Yeah, where's he at? I don't want to bump into him while running around a corner or something. That man can go straight to jail. Do not pass go. Yeah! It's a lot of uh, puzzling just trying to get through this place. The pendo. The pendo. <laughs> that damn bastard. You think you're so damn smart, don't you? But you know what? You're not. You are not smart, my man. Okay, that's back up there again. I need, I need that Lumos spell. Aha! Aha! He has nothing on me. You know what? You know why that is? Because I have magic and he doesn't. He is a squid. Oh no, wait, that, that's, a, that, that's, that's an offensive word to wizards, isn't it? I shouldn't say that. It's true, though, right? It's true, he is a squid. To be fair, though, there are some squibs that are quite lucky to actually still have contact with the magical world. And Filch is definitely one of those. I mean, he was allowed to be the, you know, freaking caretaker of this place. That is... A very rare honor for a squib to have been given. There are squibs, of course, that, you know, decide to leave the magical world completely because they can't live with the fact that they know all of these things, but they can't be, you know, a proper part of it. And I could definitely see that, you know, I, I can see that being annoying. Oh, is he gonna come running through? Oh, it's gonna shut the gate. And of course, he has a secret tunnel behind one of the goddamn bookcases. He knows a lot of secrets. Lumos. Where is it? Where's the secret? Aha! Oh, more platforming. Aha, yes, I like the platforming. 
How the heck do I... Oh, I have to get back up there. Of course I do. Of course I do. Of course. Yoink. Hoi. Here. And yeah. All right. Today's question, guys. Today's question is going to be a bit extreme, right? We're going to talk about the uh, the unforgiving curses. Which one is your favorite one? I know, but we have to go into the dark arts a little bit too, right? I would say mine is probably cr uh, crucial. Just because it inflicts so much damage without actually physically, you know, hurting the person per se. You're actually attacking all of their nerves at once. Such a deliciously evil spell, yes? Put it in the comments below, guys. What is your favorite spell of those? The unforgiving curse. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. And here. Huh? I would say one thing that is interesting with the uh, killing curse. Um, about a cadaver, for example, is that it can't really be blocked, apparently. You can't really block it with anything. So you have to avoid it. And, th th well, the thing is, when I say it can't be blocked, I mean it can't be blocked by other spells. You can still block it with physical objects. For example, in the books, um, when, uh, when Dumbledore fights Voldemort, he blocks it by uh, animating one of the uh, those big statues in the um, uh, in the uh, Ministry for Magic to actually block the spell from hitting him and Harry, obviously. I mean, to be fair, I would have thought that would be really cool if they did that in the movies, right? He just reanimates these massive statues. To basically fight for him, that would be uh, that would be pretty awesome. Yeah. Thinks he's so goddamn smart. We're gonna stay here and wait for him to move along. Okay, I think that was our big mistake. Here. That was the big mistake. Yeah, there we go. See, now moving away, which gives us time to check the place out. That bridge leads over there, so we need to actually. Did you jump, sir? My god, I thought he was actually gonna walk over here to the corner. My god, that would have been <clears throat> terrifying. I think we need to move past him then, just in here, right? So we need to move it. He's gonna stand right in front of it, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's actually walking over it, okay. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Intriguing. You think I'm blind? I'm not letting anyone into that tower tonight. Sir, I think you might do, actually. That's that's the problem here. You don't have much of a choice, okay? Should I break one of these? Can I do that? Oh, no. I think I could break one of those vases, right? Just if I get close enough to it. Yeah. <laughs> Thieves, you'll be banished for this. That can come in handy if I have to distract Filch along the way. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Exactly, that, that's my point, Harry. Dum dum. Yes, we're in the tower. Ha! We got up there. They're taking Norbert away. Oh no! He's gonna do better in that, you know, dragon uh, colony, anyways. Ron's brother Charlie had arranged to collect the dragon from the tower and return him to Romania. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they, they just made them dark, yeah, to sort of not have to give them a face. 
because they didn't have faces yet, right? Oh, hey, diddy -de -de. Huh? So wait, I have to run all the way back to... What? Are what? you kidding me? What? Hmm. Ah, uh, Mrs. Norris. Uh. Mrs. Norris. I could have sworn I heard footsteps in here, but... <laughs> Let's check the library, my friend. It's, it's quite disturbing. It's quite disturbing. And the funny thing is, like, the, the, the only reason he, he is so angry and bitter is because he basically hates the students for having magic and he doesn't. He says, dude, you're a grown man. Are you really going to be, you know, bitter against a bunch of school children because they happen to have magic and you were born without it? Like, how is that really their fault? Like, seriously, dude. It's just so, you know, small-minded and petty, I, I think. It's just... Aha! I've heard you for sure this time. Quick, oh, no. Noise. You keep watch from above. Oh shit, from above? Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh crap. Oh, this is you bad. not get past me now, you rotten little gutter snipes. I'm sorry, my friend, but I think I still will get past you, actually. The annoying thing will be Mrs. Norris. She will be quite annoying. She will be the uh, the hard part to get past there. Oh, oh, yep, 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 she will. Yeah, I thought I could actually jump over there, but no. She's still up there. Yeah, she is. Move along, cat! Move your booty along, cat! Of course I freaking jumped over it. Are you kidding me, man? Are you kidding me, man? These controls. They're all over the goddamn place. I have to get in there. You can't... You could have actually jumped over that, man. That was stupid of you. Get past Mrs. Norris, too. Holy shit. I can't actually believe we got past that. Intruder! Intruder! Yeah! <laughs> silly man. Silly, silly man. I mean, he, he has learned a bunch of the uh, places here, right? He knows a lot about the castle. He's been here for years. That's... What's that? That's the funny thing, though. He has been here for years. He learned. He has learned a bunch about the castle, you know, all these secrets and stuff. Still, however, somehow, Fred and George has figured out way more about the castle than he has. I don't get that, but somehow, they have. Oh, of course. Hello. Hello, Nick. Yes, I'm being chased. Yes, yes, yes. Right, yes. Going to see. There you go. What are you? Do <laughs> what are you doing, Harry? Jesus Christ. Thank you, Nick, old chap. For guiding me through this place. <laughs> Come out wherever you are. 
How about no? Thank you, Sam. I'm quite fine. Jesus. And yeah. Oh yeah. I'm surprised he doesn't hear Harry's, you know, grunting and all that. Bumping into shit all over the place. I mean, he's not exactly discreet. Oh, you won't find me, dude. You're as blind as a bat. The only reason you're, you know, getting even close to finding students is basically because you have your dang cat. Without her, you would... <gasps> Hello, Miss Doris! I think I'm more scared of your damn cat than I am scared of you, man. It's just a fact. You suck. Did you place Harry? Harry, Pless, I command you. Hiya! And hiya! What's that? What's that? What's this over there? Oh, you won't find me. I am sneaky. I am the knight. Ta da! Oh, the mirror. We know about this. You guys know this. Ooh. See something interesting. Harry's parents, James and Lily Potter. Harry stared hungrily back as though hoping to fall right through the glass and reach them. He was startled when Hungry? the sounded behind. Are you going to eat them, Harry? Harry turned slowly about. So you, like hundreds before you, have discovered the delights of the mirror of Erised. Said Professor yeah, Dumbledore. yes we have. He went on to explain that the mirror showed oh, nothing, you touch my tile, no. nothing less than the deepest, mm, most desperate ding, ding, desire dog. of our hearts, but that it would give neither knowledge nor truth. The mirror of Erised will be moved to a new home shortly, mm -hmm. Dumbledore went on, adding ominously that if Harry ever came across it again, he would be prepared. But prepared for what? thought Harry. Oh! You'll see eventually, man. You'll see eventually. Trust me. Filthy whelps gave us the slip, Mrs. Norris. Yes, they did. I've locked the only door out of here for the sake of me nerves. Stay here and watch the library for a bit, my dear. We know there's a secret there, yeah? Right. Now we still have to get the hell out of here. Which apparently wasn't that difficult. I'm out. I'm out, boy. I'm out. We got out, guys. We got out. We got out. There's a secret behind here, obviously. Because it's a mirror. Obviously, there's secrets behind it, right? Boom! Give me all the beans, boy. You too? No? Portrait of somebody. I thought that would be something, but no. Hmm. Hmm. Right, guys, I think we're gonna leave it at that, right? We're gonna leave it right there. We don't want these to be too long. We still want you to be able to go through them relatively with ease. So it doesn't feel like it's too long and annoying, okay? But guys, ah, we're getting somewhere in this. This is the uh, the second game we're playing so far, but it's also the first one, right? <laughs> it's, it's the first one in the series, but it's the second one we play. It's confusing. D don't don't bother your, your head with it, okay? It's fine, it's fine. But guys, don't forget though, put in the comments what is your favorite unforgiving curse. And if you like the video, please hit that like button. Do it, do it. And if you liked me, please, if, if you could click that subscribe button, it would mean a lot to me. If it's red, it means you have to click it right now. I, I won't go anywhere, I will sit here and wait. Just click it. You done it? Good. Excellent. Excellent. 
guys, until the next video, I have. I hope you have a great morning, day or night, wherever you might be. See you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.